welcome to my week in the life in Seattle. This week I don't have much going on so I feel like it's very realistic. Today I am going to the Fremont Market. I'm gonna go downtown for a cute little walk. It is a beautiful winter day and it's not every day that it's 50 degrees and sunny so this is the fit check for the day. Just a baby tee, light blue jeans, maybe a jacket. It's always super warm to me going outside in like this type of temperature, but I might just bring something in case because it is a walk. But first we are gonna go to Fremont Market. I gotta get some jade rings for my friends and then also myself because I broke both of mine. So let's go. That took a minute to park, but we have found a spot. It's kind of far away, but it's a straight shot over to the market. The goal is just to get the jade ring. I have credit for this vintage shop that I kind of want to browse. I have everything $20 today, but I am so short on time. Like I need to be back in my apartment in 20 minutes. So just the jade ring. I Two rings, two rings, one for myself, one for Hank. In the summer, the market is usually right here on the street. They just close up the entire block. But in the winter, they put it under the bridge because it's kind of rainy around this time of year. But it's so pretty. I love like just being by the water. I usually just go on like a really long neighborhood walk and I go to like my neighborhood's farmer's market but I don't know I it's just been like the same routine for the last couple weeks couple months so I wanted to mix it up okay we are home about to walk downtown um it's like still super warm but like I, I don't just in case like I'm not moving a lot I don't want to get cold so we're gonna go with this like light jacket Tim left this here a year ago and Still wearing it. Love it. We're grabbing lunch at Misam. This is where I used to go um, for work every day. I always get like a barbecue pork combo or like a chow mein. And then, and then I got tired of it. So we like, I would always go to the other spots like down the street. I'll show you, I'll show you. It's like a Pike Place World Tour, except this is nothing new. Wow, okay. We are walking to go eat um, at this like little boardwalk. They have, they have like these cute little tables and chairs and you can just like look out to the sound towards like the ferries. Very cute. We got the barbecue for a combo. Basically, like just sasu and a bao. Like, mm, okay. I don't know if you see it, but you get the idea. The view is so pretty over here. We have like the water, and then more water stuff in the city. Olympics, maybe? Olympics? Yeah. And then West Seattle. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's cute. I think next stop, we're gonna, we're gonna take a little walkie around the market, maybe stop at Rachel's Ginger Beer, and then, yeah, I think that's about it. It's just a cute little day. It is so gorgeous outside. There's a mirror over here. I remember it. We're gonna go to a Wajamaya, do some browsing, see if there's any Sunny Angels at the bookstore, and then maybe see what shops are open around here. Hmm. Boba sounds good. Man. There's a Daiso right outside of the Wajamaya. Um, I walked in and they have you can't see them from over there. They have new blind boxes for Rilakkuma, so I grabbed one. I haven't gotten one in so long. Like, I think the last one is the one that sits on my car now, where it's like Rilakkuma laying on like a turtle toast. It's the one, it's the one I was hoping you'd be. <laughs> Isn't he cute? He's only a mushroom. This is true. He I love it. Grumpy. He, it's cute. I love it. So I just got back from the gym, washed my hair. We are now gonna go to Costco. It started raining a little bit. I was hoping to do a little walkie around the neighborhood. I might still go because it doesn't look too bad and I think it just stopped, but hopefully it won't be raining in a few hours. Let's go. The main Costco is in Soto. It's about, I think 20 minutes from my neighborhood. And so, yeah, I always just kind of try not to go there. Especially living alone in a studio, I don't have enough room to be buying Costco-sized things, which works out for me, um, just because I don't ever have to go down to Soto. But with just trying to be more reasonable with cooking at home, eating at home, it's really nice to have frozen foods or like refrigerated prepped foods that I could just throw in the microwave when I don't feel like cooking and I feel like Costco has some of the best things for that. I'm not much of a Trader Joe's gal. I used to love those like frozen foods from Trader Joe's for college and all that but it gets kind of pricey because they're usually like one meal or like two two meals. I love this Costco because it's the one that has like the car wash so it's like kind of convenient to just have my car wash when I'm getting gas because this is also usually the station that I get gas from when I'm like on my way home to my hometown. Here they are. Here they are. I've been wanting to try these. They sound ooh, a big box. Like for one, it's 200 calories and 10 grams of protein. Okay, Costco haul. Got the chicken melts. Got the chicken and cheese burritos. A lot of chicken, a lot of cheese, but it's great protein and I find my way to incorporate veg in different ways. I usually do a vegetable stir fry most days, if not like in my tteokbokki because I eat a lot of tteokbokki. That's been my fixation meal for almost two years now. Um, silly, <laughs> but it's so good. Okay, I think it just started raining again, but I think I'm still gonna go on my little walk. 
I think I'm gonna go to Volunteer Park, walk around there, then walk around the neighborhood. It's gonna be fun. I just finished eating, catching up to emails, applications, everything I need to do for the day. I think it's time for a walkie. I'm gonna go to Volunteer Park, walk around, and then loop back into Capitol Hill. No, if it's gonna be like super cold. I feel like a puffer is just like a little too much. But I was a little chilly yesterday, which was surprising because like 50 degrees isn't cold for me. But I think like the wind threw me off a little bit. The puffer jacket may be a mistake. It's so warm out. There is like no wind. I think the long sleeve was just a good move. Um, I am about two blocks from the park and I love this neighborhood so much. There's so many like beautiful gorgeous like enormous houses. I love looking at them and just being like wow. <laughs> like I kind of dreamt of living here one day. Maybe I still want to live here one day. We'll see. But it's just so pretty. I love looking at the houses here. Okay. This is how I know when I get to the park. The sign is right over there. Here's the Seattle Asian Art Museum. I've never been in there. One time, I think a couple blocks down that way. And the house was like just so spooky and cool. We did it for the Halloween show. I was obsessed. There's Rachel's ginger beer. I was there yesterday. My favorite place in this neighborhood. <laughs> Hello, I am back from my walk and USPS just came by and I got two packages. One I ordered over a month ago, I think, from my favorite jewelry brand that's local to the Northwest, Apps. They are based in Bellingham, which is my college town. And yeah, I'm so, so excited. I've been wanting to be able to have like a jewelry or like a ring rotation because I wear like the same ones every single day, which is great. I love that. I love having the same rings. I got two new rings. I wanna kind of go back to gold rings because I've been buying a lot of silver. I thought I was gonna become a silver girly, but I feel like it just doesn't really resonate too much with me. And now like the balance of like silver to gold rings is not right. So I wanted to get some gold rings that are like regularly in my rotation because I only have this one. And it's one of my OG rings from apps that I got years ago. So here we have it. I got two rings. One is I think the meteor ring with the pearl on it. And then I got, I think, I don't think it's a magnified band. It's one of the bands that is like a stacker. Let's see, where is she? Ah, oh, so gorge. I think I'm holding it too close. There we have it. And then the meteor band. Oh my gosh, this is the prettiest thing ever. I've been wanting this ring since they dropped it, but I've been like, waiting to see if I was super sure that I wanted to get this ring. I also kind of want to stack it on top or like on the bottom of my Gucci ring because I've been wearing like my jade and my carnelian, but sometimes like a colored ring is not the vibe. So I wanted something to kind of go with this a little bit. I love it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then this too. I think this would go perfectly, like not all of these together, but maybe all of these together, not really. I was thinking like one, one day and then one another day, but this is so cute, so fun. That and also maybe on this ring finger, I've been wearing this ring since I got it and I've never really taken it off. So now I have something new. Next, this package is from my bestie girl, Francesca. Um, she sent me something from Dead Cool, which is like one of my favorite fragrance brands. Where is my box cutter? I feel like I should open this on like Snapchat for her. I think I'm gonna do that. 
I'll like speed this up so it's not like super weird and I'm like just talking to my phone. Now that the sun is setting and it's like starting to rain outside. It started to rain while I was like walking towards my building, so really good luck there. But now that it's starting to rain, I'm just gonna change my clothes, get in the bed, and just do some stuff on my laptop. Probably edit my last vlog, the Paris vlog, because it is so long and I'm on day two. Hopefully it'll be up long before this. Hello, happy Tuesday. I got back from the gym a couple hours ago, got ready, had an interview get canceled, so I was going to go on a little coffee walk or something, but it's been raining a lot today, so today we are doing a cozy day in. I'm thinking lighting that new candle from Fran, baking some cookies, doing some reading, journaling, all that. I am in my outside clothes. I was gonna put on like a flannel and a jacket, but because it's raining, I am not going outside. So let's change back into indoor clothes. Gray sweats, check. I'm thinking a hoodie. It's not super cold in here, but I just love like the cozy feeling of a hoodie. I only wear this brown one anyways, so. Today we are making brown butter chocolate chip cookies. This is how I like my brown butter to be hardened or like chilled after heating it up just because it keeps the texture of the cookie dough the way that I like to work with it. And so next we add a little less than a half cup of white sugar, a little more than half a cup of brown sugar, dark brown. This is always the messiest part. I try to like do this ahead of time, but with the, the bowl in the freezer, it makes it really hard because I don't want to add it to like another bowl, but. Okay, the egg expired today, but I'm gonna say that's still safe. That I'm afraid, but we can make it go away. I hope you hear the things I say. Up next to you. Time has finally come. We are baking the cookies. I'm only I'm only making four because it's it's just me here, so what's what what am I gonna bake a whole batch for? So here goes nothing. Beautiful, gorgeous. Looking good so far. I think it needs another minute in there. These look so good. Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm so excited. Let's pour out some milky and get right in. I love eating a cookie right from the oven because the chocolate is just so melty. Ah. Hello, happy Wednesday. It is a beautiful, gorgeous day. The sun is out. There are no clouds in the sky anymore. We are gonna go on a beautiful winter walk. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, we're finally gonna go to Metier. I've been dying to try their matcha and I might do a little walk downtown again. I pulled out the Carhartt jacket, but I think it's gonna be too warm. So I think just the leather bomber, yeah. I feel like I live in this. I'm so glad I bought it. When I got it, I was like, oh man, crap, it's too big. I'm never gonna wear this. I just wasted $60 on it, but I have worn it almost every single day since I got it. Okay, I just got past Kama Anderson Park. It is so pretty out there. A lot of pedestrians and people out for a weekday. I love it though. I love that Seattle just comes alive anytime there's like a speck of blue in the sky. Two blocks out. I never set foot on Union Street just for um, personal reasons, but today is an exception, and then I will probably go on my walk downtown.
summer rain on a window. Watch the time flow. Okay, that was lovely. This matcha is so good. Oh my gosh, it's like the perfect amount of like sweetness to, to grassy flavor. Now we're gonna go on a little walkie to downtown. It's so interesting. The coffee shops, there's so many bicycle coffee shop stores in Capitol Hill. Like there's three that come to mind. Like there's one on Broadway that's enormous. It's like a co-working space and then there's my day the one I just went to. And then there's one in the, like the alleyway that I showed earlier. I guess it brings in like the traffic and it's like nice for it's a nice place for people to park their bikes when they just want to like hang out. I usually never walk down Pike. There's so many like stores and bars that are like really cool here. Like right there is late night vintage market. They have so many different vendors and like Carhartt jackets, vintage tees that are just to die for. And then like up the street there's a couple bars that are just like super well themed. There's this wine bar that I love so much. It has like the perfect ambience. It's called La Dee. It's just expensive. But honestly, for like a good vibe, I love this one there. Foggier down here. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty though. I love the Christmas lights this time of year. It just makes it feel so happy and alive. I'm just getting to the market. I'm like at the top of the hill. I can see the public market sign. It's so interesting. During the Christmas time, it's like the only time where, like, on the weekdays, it's crazy here. Otherwise, like in the cold season, you will not see anyone around here. Tim just got home from work. I am gonna meet him out at a bar and get a few drinkies. Probably just one because I think I'm gonna go back out tomorrow. So, gonna see him. Desperately need one because it feels like the world is crumbling right now. Um, yeah, all the girlies are down. Got some frantic texts, but no biggie. We got this, we got this. Cheers. Not my life. Hello, happy Thursday. Today I am dressed to go to a room, get some work done. I am determined to get this Paris vlog out. It was supposed to go up last night, but then I ended up getting a beverage with Tim and when I got home I just went to sleep. I like FaceTime my cousin Jamie and then knocked out. When I get that done, I just finished editing my vlog slash like ad for my friends for their supplement company and I sent it off. So hopefully that looks good, but yeah, I am just going to spend the day working on emails, this video, and anything else I have left. I'm going to split the Paris vlog into two parts, I think. And so once I finish the first one, I'm just gonna hop right into the second one. It's gonna be great, let's go. Driving into Fremont. This used to be like one of the scariest drives for me ever because like the bridge is just so tight. But now I love it because it's one of the only places that I can go without a map. Um, I know how to get to Costco and I know how to get to Fremont and everything else, I just hope for the best. 
Great news, I finally finished editing my video. Um, yes, I finished editing my video and then I started packing up and a person came up to me and asked to hang out. So we went on a walk, um, that was cool, interesting. Um, and now I'm home, I haven't eaten today, so we are having an apple and then I'm gonna walk around the neighborhood. I should eat more, but now it's getting a little too close to dinner time, so. I might try to find like a little snack at M2M, but I'm um, really excited for dinner. I'm meeting up with my friends Candice and Maynard from Portland, and I haven't seen them since last winter, I don't. And last time we got brunch, and that was so fun and cute. I'm excited to see them again, see how they're doing. And yeah, I think before dinner, I'm gonna drive to Ballard and hit this vintage pop up um, from Frida Vintage. There's furniture and clothes and everything. I hopefully won't buy anything because I'm trying really hard on this no buy, but I just want to wander around and see pretty things, so yeah. Hello, it is 5 p.m. I got to run in dinner right now. I think Anne's coming through at the same time though, so I think she's probably gonna chill here. I gotta run and catch up with my friends real quick and then we are going to go to the Malcolm Moore show right after me and Anne. I'm so excited. We haven't hung out like that in so long. Oh my gosh, she took me to my very first concert when I was like in college. I think I was like 19. That was like one of my most core memories of all time. So I'm so excited. I finally just went. I'm a little early, but I'm listening to some voice mountains from the girlies, so this is perfect. I'm, I've been listening for like the past hour and there's so much coming through. The girlies are down. Jesus. <laughs> Foods, yeah. Oh, I got cute cameras. Okay, we are at dinner. Forgot to vlog again, you know the vibes. <laughs> I, I shake my head like I'm Addison Ray. <laughs> Got an accidental drinky. Drinky. I'm drinky. I was so drinking for the fishies. Oh my <laughs> for the fishies. You're driving? I'm driving. It's oh, I'm snoozing. Honestly, this place is so like cute and hidden. I love Tiffany's vlog. Okay, we're on the bus. Okay, successfully rode the bus, and now we're magically in front of Climate Pledge. Love it. All right, that was a great show. That was so fun. He like played over two hours, which is crazy. Like, that was like way too long. That was really long. Um, I'm very much a 60 minute girly. Yeah, what? Yeah. Now what? <laughs> but I feel like love that for him. Now. I know, I'm like, whoa. Like, what do we do? I have no idea what time it is. I, I do know what time it is, but like, you know, it's like, I don't know what to do. Soju Anju is the only place open now. Um, Soju Anju? Okay. Let's go. Back at Dino's. Today we got a triangle slice. Good morning. It is almost noon. We just got up, got ready. And we're gonna go to Oddfellows for a little Becky moment. I'm so excited. I haven't been there in a couple months. Let's go! Plans. We are at Bai Tong, as I always am. Um, because Oddfellows is booked out for like the next hour, pretty much. Like 45 minutes is the wait. And so we're just like, okay. We're, we'll just go somewhere Because um, it's like already past noon. It's raining so much too, she's like, yeah, no. The last thing I want to do is like stand around or like loiter Elliot Bay for like an hour. Okay, pad thai's out. Soupy soup. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. We just washed through the rain. This is, I'm excited.
Okay, finished lunch, just off by studs. They had no appointments available, but I did get Tim a little ring. Hopefully it's six millimeter um, <laughs> for his rook. I guess I could test it out on mine, but that's gross. So. <laughs> Quick update, we have driven to Ballard to just browse around, get some like gifts and there, there is a vintage pop-up at this place called Cathedral right over here. And I just want to peep some stuff. Sometimes they have like cute designer and there's like other shops or like in the pop-up, so that'll be fun. Perfect, like tiny gift because I forgot that I already got her like jade rings for her and Hank to match. And so we're going with these paper incense, they smell rich. Like it here are the scents jasmine, coriander, rose, sandalwood, and vanilla. Okay, shopping is done. I got those incenses and then they didn't have any crates at Prism, so I think I might hit Urban Outfitters. Good morning, happy Saturday. We are at the end of the week. I am about to head back to my hometown. I have one more errand to run. Hopefully the mall and Urban Outfitters is open. We'll see. Um, and then gonna head home, spend time with the family. It's gonna be great. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.